Hi guys, so in today's video I was out exploring a forest in the northeast of Scotland. It's called Clashin Darroch Forest. In the winter time it's used for Nordic skiing or cross country skiing. So there's nice like tracks in between the the trees and in the summertime, so it makes some really nice photos. And the, the grass is sort of quite pure, if you know what I mean, like there's not much weeds and things, so it's quite straight and colourful grass. So in this shot here I'm using the wide angle 17 to 40 millimeter Canon lens. I'm just making a sort of panoramic type shot just to get the full scale of the frame. Here's another track I stopped at. It had a few puddles in it and I thought it would be quite a nice feature to put in the foreground. I'm using a similar technique here with the wide angle lens and adding up all the photographs just to get the full height of the trees in the frame and a bit off to the sides to get the, a nice wide shot as well. This technique is pretty useful if you want to get something in the foreground that's quite large. I'm trying to get the puddle in the foreground and just keep everything else in the background also in frame. So on the drive home, after visiting the forest, the sky started looking really nice. So and it, the clouds had lots of amazing colours in them, so I thought I'd try and get some good shots of the hills with the colourful clouds. So now this stone here is an old Pictish stone. It's about 1500 years old, it's used for a burial, and it's got some old Pictish markings engraved on it. I thought it'd be just a nice little interesting thing to show in the video. So I'm just trying to get a nice photo here of the sheep in the foreground and the hills in the background with the nice colourful clouds in the sky. I'm using the Canon 55-250mm lens here and I'm zooming in quite close to compress the scene. The sheep and the hills are quite close so that neither the foreground or the background is too small or too large. This is quite good to sort of scale a, a large landscape down to a more manageable composition. Uh, again, I'm doing a panoramic type shot, so I'm just taking several shots, adding them together afterwards. I'll just leave you with a few shots from the day, and I hope you liked today's video, and I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Thanks.